What's going on, Steel Ankles fans? I'm here with David Wilkes and his sweet ZL11LE. It's freaking beautiful. We just came in off the track and he talked me into removing the sound deadener. What is it called? It's this sound abatement plate okay. from inside the supercharger lid. Solid steel and all it does is transfer heat and noise. Yeah, so he said he recorded 20 degrees less inlet temperatures when he was out there after he removed that. I guess it acts like a heat sink, so we're yeah. going to try and remove it now. So this is David Wilkes' car. He's got the iDash in there. That's how he's recording his inlet temperatures. It's an A10 car. Beautiful car. Holy uh, shit, check out the uh, his tag. That's a hilarious tag. <laughs> Want a point by? <laughs> so, yeah, we just came in off the track. What, what, they're all loose on there? Dude, watch, watch. Oh, yeah. Super and was loose. Have they never been off? I don't know. I bought this car used, so. Wow. Now, when you're doing this, you got to make sure you, you, all the little plastic inserts, there's a plastic centering insert oh, yeah. in each one of these. Okay. So if you ever do this and take it apart, you have to make sure that it either stays behind or you put it back where it came off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's like, oh, you can get rid of heat suck. I was like, yeah, wow. dude, I need that. that. You'll probably pick up a pound of boost just in this thing being tight. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> More power. Yeah. More power. More power. So this is what happens when you run with a C8 Z06. You start working on your car <laughs> to make it faster. <laughs> There's a time limit to this. Yeah, because we're going to be back out on track at 9.30, and it's about 8.45 right now, probably. 8.35, so we got some time. But this thing's hot as crap. That's why I'm not touching it. David's <laughs> doing it with his gloves. Now I got this. Looks like Halloween. Right? Orange and black. Oh Make man. <laughs> yeah, I actually broke the supercharger belt yesterday and uh, had to replace it. So it ate one month to keep you here last year, too, at the same time. Same session and everything, so. Always carry a, carry a spare boiler belt. I wondered if it was there since I bought the car it's used. That little piece is what's gonna drop it. 20, 20 degrees, yeah. yeah. It's solid steel. I didn't know it would actually heat soak it though. He needs it for weight reduction. Weight reduction. Yeah, weight I'll, reduction over the front wheels. I was gonna I was gonna eat a salad, but then I thought no, I'll just remove this plate. <laughs> Watch how light these are in there. Wow, <laughs> that was nothing. Look, and if you think it's just the torque of this, it's 
nothing. Oh yeah, that's like five foot pounds or something. <laughs> it's not even it was yeah. like a one finger pull. Right. It's shocking that more of them don't just fall out. That would be bad if it fell out. Oh, I know. I'm surprised there's not more failure. Right. It's not like you see any lock on that. Yeah, exactly. Huh. What was your build date? Okay. Well, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Alright, now the tricky one is the wire and it's in the rear. Always gets stuck underneath. So you gotta pull this little wire back here because it will wanna hide inside and underneath. Man, this thing is still glowing hot. Oh, yeah, oh let's, let's turn back. the fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back there. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. I'd like to thank my sponsor, David Wilkes, for uh, making my number 75 Chevy run great out there today. There it is. <laughs> Come visit my channel, David Wilkes. There you go. We'll check out his channel. Is it YouTube, Instagram? What is it? YouTube, David A. Wilkes on Instagram, David Wilkes, W-I-L-K-S. You'll see the Patriot Motorsports Bald Eagle. Nice. A bunch of boat stuff, offshore racing crazy stuff. Excellent. We love that kind of thing. Right? Uh, Be sure to check them out. Always hand thread these. Don't ever start this with a tool. Okay. Yeah, it's too easy to cross thread since it's going into aluminum. Especially since it's hot aluminum. Yeah. Too easy to make a mistake. Always check the wires. Make sure you don't pinch anything. Now you're gonna go for that 129 today. <laughs> yeah, that the plate's gonna make all the difference. No, it's not, but it'll make some. <laughs> yeah. It'll make some. I thought about doing it. I didn't even <laughs> think about the, the heat soap being a, you know. Well, I saw the videos about doing it for loud, and then I was like, you know, metal on aluminum inside of a plate, and I talked to some people that late model performance in Texas and for all the drag racers they take them out of that because between the rounds it goes right up and that's it's just not a good place for it my gloves are getting warm yeah, I bet. <laughs> Yeah, I took that plate out of there. It's a heat soak. It's just it's a, it's like a heat sink. So David said when he was like, you know, he just removed his off his car, and then he data logged, and it was 20 degrees inlet temperature cooler. Wow. Just from that uh, steel plate in there. Wow. Because he did a before and after on it. He, oh, no. Yeah, well, that happened anyways, because this is an A10. <laughs> <laughs> But then uh, I did the classic move. Since Tim wasn't here, I had to dive bomb him. Uh, yeah, was awesome. He loved it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like yelling. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I can't I was, wait to go look at the footage on that on my... Like, come back here, little Mr. A-10. <laughs> The Lambo dive bomb me going in the ditch. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Thanks, man. You're deleted now. I appreciate that, dude. Your plate deleted. Appreciate that, dude. 